everybody, welcome back. My name is Danielle with Cookies and Bacon, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you five different breakfast crock pot recipes. So these are going to be like a dump and go. Um, most of these you can do at night and then have breakfast in the morning. They're gonna be easy, delicious meals. I know that you'll love them. Go ahead and grab your crock pot and let's get started. For the cinnamon roll casserole, what we're gonna need is a medium bowl and we're just gonna crack four eggs into it. And then we're gonna add in half a cup of milk with three tablespoons of maple syrup. You can use whichever brand or flavor of syrup that you want. I think this is a sugar-free one that I have on hand, but um, you can use whatever you want. And then I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of cinnamon, also two teaspoons of vanilla, and then once that's all added, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up and make sure it's really mixed through and the cinnamon is well combined. to set that aside and now I'm going to work on my cinnamon rolls so I'm going to open up two cans of cinnamon rolls and I'm just going to dice them up as fine as you want you can dice them up in quarters however you want to do it um, you just want to dice them up so that they're in smaller pieces and then we are going to spray our crock pot and put this at the bottom of our crock pot And now that all of my cinnamon rolls are at the bottom of my crock pot, I am going to save those um, little plastic bags that have my frosting in them because I will use those later. And then I'm just going to pour that egg and cinnamon mixture on top of my cinnamon rolls. Make sure I get all of it out into the crock pot. And then I'm just going to make sure everything's even on top. And then after I um, make sure everything's even, I'm going to use one of those packets of frosting and then I'm just going to put one of those frosting on top of the cinnamon rolls and I am going to place this on low for about two to two and a half hours just until everything is cooked through, the middle is cooked through and um So it's been on low for about two and a half hours and this is what it looked like when it was all done and I went ahead and put some more frosting on top there was that one other plastic thing of frosting so I just went ahead and put that on top for this recipe I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up some ham I need about two cups of ham and then in a medium dish I'm going to crack 12 eggs and yes I have one of my daughters helping me here um, once I have cracked all 12 eggs, I'm going to go ahead and add in the milk and the salt and pepper to season it a little bit. I'm going to add in one cup of milk with the salt and pepper. And then also a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then once all of that is combined, I'm going to go ahead and stir it to give it a good whisk. And then we will add it to our crock pot.
now that the egg mixture is done, I'm gonna go ahead and dice up this onion, just like that. <laughs> and then I'm going to line my crock pot with one of these liners. I didn't have a crock pot liner, so I just used this. And you know, sometimes you have to improvise. So I went ahead and used that, and then I sprayed my liner. And um, I went ahead and added my onion that I had just recently diced up. I'm gonna put that at the bottom. I didn't put all of it. I'm going to layer this. Um, you don't have to layer it. That's just what I did. Um, I probably wouldn't layer it again because I ended up mixing it all together anyway. So it really doesn't matter how you do it. So uh, I have a little bit of ham that I use. And then here's my hash browns. You're gonna use 30 ounces of hash browns with two cups of uh, ham along with one medium onion. You're gonna use four cups of cheddar cheese as well and then your egg mixture. So you can just add all that together or you can layer it however you wanna do it, but that's um, what it all called for and that's what I ended up putting in the crock pot. As you see here, my hash browns are still frozen and it's totally okay to have frozen hash browns. It's all gonna thaw, it's all gonna cook the same, it's fine, don't fret about it. Um, so after I put in my frozen hash browns, then I just layer some cheese on top and I'm just gonna kinda mix it through and get it um, how I want it. Um, and then I'm gonna put the lid on, and it's this is like a, I'd probably say this is a six quart slow cooker. Um, I, I mean, you would definitely need at least four quarts for this recipe. But I used this crock pot and I put it on low, so I cooked this overnight and had this in the morning. So I think I cooked this on low for about seven hours. It was between six to eight, something like that. And it came out beautiful when it was done. And um, this was great because these could be like burrito bowls or they could be, you could make them into burritos. Um, my husband liked them um, just as like a burrito bowl. And then I did wrap some up as some burritos for him. But this is what it looks like when it's all done. It was absolutely delicious. The flavor was astonishing. Now we're gonna be making some oatmeal. I personally love oatmeal. My kids do not like oatmeal though. They cringe when I tell them that we're having oatmeal for breakfast, but I love it. I think it's healthy, it's good for them. So um, I went ahead and used this small crock pot this time. I add in three cups of milk, and as you saw earlier, I diced up some apples, and I have one and a half cups of old-fashioned oats, um, and then I'm gonna put some cinnamon, some salt, some brown sugar in it, and some vanilla just to kind of give it some flavor. So I just put in just a little bit of salt, and then I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a teaspoon of vanilla just to give it some extra flavor. And then um, two tablespoons of brown sugar. You can definitely add in more or less, however you wanna do it. Um, if you like it really sweet, you can add in some more brown sugar. And then I went ahead and add in my apples. I did cut up two apples and I'm just gonna stir that together. And this is gonna cook on low for about five to six hours just until everything is well cooked through and for me i definitely had to add some milk i just like my oatmeal a little bit more on the creamy side you can add more whatever type of milk you want to use almond milk you can even do water it's totally fine i just like my oatmeal a certain way i do like it a little more on the creamy side but this is what it looked like when it was all done cooking it was very very good much better than you can get in any packet or instant oatmeal no this is amazing I did and as you can see here I added some more milk so it's a little bit more creamy there for this sausage and potato bake I'm going to need a can of cream and mushroom soup and in just a small bowl I'm just gonna add this cream and mushroom soup with a cup of milk and once that's combined, I'm just gonna whisk it and give it a good stir just to get everything mixed through properly.
and used a small onion. If you have a bigger onion, I would definitely suggest only using half of it. Um, you don't need very much onion for this meal. And I just diced it up. And now I'm gonna dice up this smoked sausage. And I am going to get my bag of hash browns. I need about 32 ounces of hash browns. I think I just used a little bit out of this. So I had maybe 30 ounces of hash browns here. But you can use whatever type of hash browns you want. You can even dice up your own potatoes if you want. You will have to cook it a little bit longer, but you can do however you want to do it. Um, I just use these small diced up hash browns here, and they are frozen, but like I said earlier, it's totally fine. Everything's going to cook through just fine. And then I went ahead and added in my onion, and then I'm going to put my sausage in after that. And then I'm gonna put in about one and a half cups of grated cheese on top of that. And once that's all on top, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in that cream and mushroom soup with the milk mixture on top of that. And then I'm just gonna kinda make sure everything's even on top. And then I'm just going to let it cook on high for about three hours or until all the potatoes are softened. I believe it was right about three hours and everything was cooked through. It was super cheesy and it was delicious. You can even add in any type of seasonings that you want. I did add in some thyme and parsley um, and I just put that on top and it came out fabulous. You can even put in some more salt and pepper. It's truly whatever you wanna do. And um, this recipe, will be phenomenal you could even this doesn't just have to be a breakfast one you can have this like as a side um you can even have this with some eggs this is um pretty universal that you could do with this meal and here's what it looks like when it's done it was super cheesy it was just delicious okay this was my family's favorite meal that i made for all these recipes in this video this was a biscuits and gravy crock pot breakfast casserole and I just went ahead and ground up one pound of sausage and then drained the grease. And then in a medium bowl, I'm going to crack eight eggs. And after those are all cracked, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some seasoning. So I add in some salt, pepper, and of course, paprika. That is my favorite seasoning to use with eggs. Um, it just adds so much flavor to it. And then once those are all combined, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a good whisk. And then I'm gonna add in my cheese and sausage. So I'm gonna add in about one cup, I'm sorry, one and a half cups of cheese. You can definitely use more or less however much you wanna use. You can never add too much cheese to um, a dish, I'm telling you. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my crock pot after I have put in the biscuits. Now that I'm done with my egg mixture, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my biscuits. So I'm just gonna use one can of biscuits. Um, I would highly suggest letting somebody else open your can of biscuits so that you don't have a mild heart attack. Um, so here I am just cutting up my um, biscuits. Um, you can cut them up however small that you want. I did like them a little bit more smaller, so I cut them up in eights here. 
Um, and then I'm just going to lightly grease my crock pot just so nothing sticks to it. With dishes like this, with eggs, you really want to make sure you grease it really well because the eggs will stick to the crock pot. And since I greased it really well, they did not stick at all. So I went ahead and greased it and now I'm just adding in my egg mixture and just kind of making sure everything is nice and even on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my biscuits. Um, I definitely suggest adding in the biscuits last just because you don't want the biscuits to stick to the crock pot and then it's a terrible mess and you don't want to do dishes. You don't want to be scrubbing for hours upon hours. So trust me, just do it this way. And um, I just make sure everything is even on top. And then I just wanted to show you what it looks like after I put everything in the crock pot. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. And I'm going to let this cook on low for about four hours. Or I, you could put it on high for about two hours. But this is what it looks like when it's done cooking. My kids loved it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.